Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Why I Love This Gun. In this episode is going to be Why I Love the TAC-45. I'm so sorry it's another secondary weapon, but I decided to do the TAC-45 because before I used the 5.7 as my secondary weapon, I would use the TAC-45. And that's because the TAC-45 is still a great secondary weapon. Um, it has a high damage capacity, except like there you can't really see it that well because I did kind of miss a few shots, but it is also accurate. If you line it up on the person you want to hit, it's definitely going to hit that person. And it does have a good bit of range. As you can see, it might be about now where you can definitely shoot across from this little thing to that helicopter over there. And <clears throat> to me, that's about as much range as you will need for a secondary weapon because you're going to be having a primary weapon with you, <laughs> like an SMG or a light machine gun, sniper rifle, or, I mean, shotguns don't really have that much range, but a secondary weapon will usually have more range than the shotgun, but with a shotgun you're going to be up close to people anyways. But I switched from the TAC-45 to the 5.7 in most of my classes because the 5.7 has a lot more ammo capacity, and it shoots a little bit faster, and it also um, does the same amount of damage in about the same amount of shots. And the 5.7 it had 20 shots per round, while the TAC only had about, well not about, but it only had 10. And granted you could get an extended clip on it, but that eliminates the attachment that you want on it. And I think a long barrel, or like the long barrel is what I usually put on my secondary weapons, which granted it does increase the range a little bit more, and it also increases the damage by a good bit. So the five, oh, sorry about the phone call in the background there, but the five seven, it did the did the same amount of damage per shots, and it had twenty shots, like I said. So basically. Why not switch to the 5.7? So anyway, speaking about attachments, um, some people will like run the silencer on it, and the only class that I could think of running silencer on would be that LSAT class with the target finder. So if you all haven't seen that video, please check that out for me. But the silencer just eliminates an attachment that you can put on your gun, and it's not worth it. If you, now granted, if you're a camper, a silencer may be something that you want to look into, but just so you know that you're not going to be found unless someone looks directly at you or sees your shots. But if you're running around, you're not going to be in the same place for long anyway, so it's not really useful to have a silencer. So. You either, if you don't like the iron sights, you're probably going to put like a red dot sight or a, um, any type of sight on. And, but what I usually like to put on my guns is either like the long barrel FMG bullets or if it's a submachine gun, I always put a laser sight on it. That's just so it's easier to hit fire. So like the MP7, the Vector, the MSMC. All those classes of mine will have the laser sight on it, and also the FMG bullets. And you all may be asking yourself, why don't I do ghost videos? Like, why haven't I published one yet? And that's kind of because I don't really like ghosts that much. I think it is by far the, like, I don't know how to put it, but... It's just the least fun I've had with the COD game, ever. Like, I enjoyed the COD games that I have played. Have been all the Modern Warfare's, both Black Ops One and Two, and so, oh, and World at War. But unfortunately, I never did get to play that much because the disc broke, and I never got a replacement for that. So, I don't really know that much about World at War, but. It was a lot more fun. I do remember the little flamethrower uh, campaign mission where you were like running down, I don't know, like the, it was like a sandy place, I believe. 
and you could use the flamethrower, and I had a lot of fun with that, but the campaign wasn't all that fun in Ghost, and to be quite honest, the multiplayer is not that fun either, so. Like, I know for some of you it's definitely fun, because it is, but if you ever look on there, you can sometimes still see more people on Black Ops 2 than Ghost, even though it was older. And I think that's because Ghost doesn't have that traditional feeling of, like, run around, shoot people type mission. It's more of like a Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, any Battlefield type game feel, except the Battlefield graphics are better, in my opinion, than the COD ones. Well, like, for COD Ghosts. And it's a little bit harder than the other CODs have been, so that can turn off, like, new gamers, new fans in uh, the COD gaming community who have only played, like, Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 3. So, well, granted, it was Infinity Award who made that, I believe, right? Yeah. And... They did great jobs with, like, the Modern Warfares, and you can tell, easily tell the difference between the Treyarch graphics and Battlefield, I mean, excuse me, Black Ops and the Infinity Ward graphics in Modern Warfare. The Infinity Ward graphics are a little bit more blended together and are not as vibrant as the Treyarch ones, as you can tell by the Battlefield 2. And, I mean, I don't know why I keep saying Battlefield, <laughs> but the Black Ops graphics in 2 and the Modern Warfare graphics in 3 and Ghosts, they're more blended together, which makes it a little bit harder to find people. In Black Ops 2, you can definitely see people a lot easier. And that's all the time I have for this video, but I hope you all enjoyed it, and I don't remember when I go in this, but I think it is, yeah, it's 25 and 10. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.